welcome to today's demonstration. We're going to be looking at the ESET endpoint encryption client powered by Deslock, and we're going to address a situation encountered by many admins when attempting to carry out remote maintenance. When a client workstation that has been full disk encrypted is booted or restarted, the user will be stopped at the FTE preboot login screen until authenticated. Therefore, anyone remoted into the workstation will lose access and essentially not be able to continue. ESET endpoint encryption comes with a maintenance mode facility, uh, which essentially enables the administrator to postpone the FTE preboot login for a specified amount of reboots or time limit. Firstly, we have to enable the facility, and this is done by adding a value to the registry. So this is a file that you can download from the knowledge base uh, in order to gain a, a reg file so you can easily apply it. However, if you open your registry, navigate to HK local machine, software, deslock, client, you can then add the maintenance mode value as a D word and its value is one. Once that's been added, you can then navigate to the desktop root folder where you can find the command line utility. If you open an administrator command prompt from the root file, you can then see the commands that can be carried out with the command line utility. But we're looking for the maintenance. So what we're going to do is we're going to postpone the preboot for two boots. So we enter the boot switch and the amount of times so we want to postpone the preboot login for followed by the password, which is the administrator full disk encryption login password. Now we can restart the machine. And we will not see the preboot login. And as you can see, we've managed to reboot once without the preboot login, and we're going to now initiate the second.
We've now rebooted twice, which was our command that we had passed through the command prompt. Now we're going to initiate a third reboot. And as you can see, our preboot login has now been reinitiated after the second reboot. And we can now enter our login details uh, to authenticate back into the workstation. The single sign-on feature has now booted us all the way through, including the Windows login. And for anybody who was um, trying to find their FD administrator credentials, you can easily find them in the enterprise server. If you find your workstation, um, you can see that uh, that machine was full disencrypted. If you go to your FD logins tab and your administrator, just press change you can then reveal your password that was uh, that was used thank you for listening